Barca! 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 Hey guys, today I have a comparison video for you. These are the three recent authentic home jerseys that Nike made for Barcelona that are available to the public. Alright, so I uh, just want to introduce the jerseys first. On the left here, I have the 2011-2012 um, home jersey. On the middle here, I have the 2013-2014 home jersey. And on the right, I have the 2014-2015 um, home jersey. Um, all three of them are authentic version, not the replica. And in this video, I just want to share how, uh, how Nike's authentic jersey, especially for Barcelona, are differs throughout the years. And as you probably aware by now, that there should be one jersey between the two of them. Uh, that 2012-2013 home jersey, the one that has three stripes. I didn't include that one because Nike didn't sold it um, to the public, the authentic version. We just, um, it's uh, only the replica version that, that was available to the public. So yeah, so that's why um, that jersey, that specific jersey is not um, in this video for a comparison. Okay, so the things that I want to compare in this comparison video are the materials of the authentic jerseys, the, um, the technology that Nike used on each jersey, and the overall the overall fit and um, design of the jerseys. So let's so let's get right into it. So the first thing that you'll uh, that you'll see here that uh, compared to the to the other two, this is the only authentic jersey that. Um, that doesn't have the Barcelona badge um, stitched, so it's like a sticker here. Same, same type of material that they used on the sponsor, on the Nike badge. So that's the first thing that, um, you know, it maybe the maybe Nike wanted to make it lighter, so they didn't stitch it in, although. It looks cheap for me, um, but yeah, that's the the only different uh, one of the different things that this jersey uh, is compared to the other two. And yeah, just for um, this fun fact here, this is the first season that uh, Barcelona used a sponsor other than UNICEF. All right, so let's go to the 2013-2014 jersey here. There you can see what I was talking about, that the badge is kind of like stitched individually, so it looks more kind of handmade, I should say. And it looks, it looks classy. So that's the Nike badge here. But of course, the sponsor will be maybe like a patch. There you go, and they use Qatar Airways. And same thing as the as the 2013-14 jersey. Here you can find the stitched Barcelona badge and Nike logo here. All right, so let's go to the. Yeah, the that's just how the batch. Here, let me just give you a close up how different they are. There you go. Another thing that's um, what I think will be 
is better for the Barcelona badge to be stitched in because the authentic version is expensive and if you if you have the stick like the patch here like a sticker the more you use it the glue that sticks that sticks um, the badge the patch I should say not the badge uh, to the shirt will be uh, weaker and weaker as you can see here uh, there start the white line here that's the glue starts to come out uh, out of the batch so yeah you want to take care of that if you if you have this kind of um, patch especially don't iron the jersey nor put it um, under the direct sunlight so there um, like if here the badge is stitched into the to the shirt so it will stay here but of course because it's like a thread uh, individually stitched if you didn't take care of it or if you um, wash it very roughly the thread a little bit will come out of the badge as you can see here from the back the border of the badge is stitched through the shirt and just just for a comparison's sake this is the back of the 2013-2014 um, jersey so this is the back and the 2011 and 2012 jersey it has dots on its film force um, slogans at the back of the badge so there you go there is just pretty much glue that um, sticks these two together so you might want to be careful with that uh, yeah but for the badge the 2013-14 jersey and 2014-15 jersey there is no difference on that now the material of the shirt that just all right just to just to make it easy these two jerseys are very very similar um, for their materials and their technology um, this is the only one that has different materials or maybe like different feels uh, to the to the jersey and <clears throat> different um, ventilation uh, system here you can see it's it's not really hollow there it's more like um, it has some ventilation but it's not hollow the only vent the only real ventilations that you get from this jersey is from the side there all these holes uh, focus there and that's it I mean it's it's not it's not that it's like block it feels like it's really thick it still feels thin maybe I can oh this is better like you can get like really really um, minimum ventilation compared to this so let me just show it to you so let's take uh, this jersey for example there you got, can you see how this is more okay here can you see this that you can see through the shirt alright so that's what I was talking about and you still get uh, same holes on the side so yeah so this just makes this um, easier uh, faster to dry when you wear it maybe if you want to wear it um, for the workout can you see the back here it's very hollow 
it's more I think it's more hollow on the back than on the front there it's more hollow on the um, back than the front as this one oh yeah I have the messy print on this one there you go uh, as if this one they have the same thickness same material uh, on the front and the back And then um, for the for the neck here, uh, sorry, the autofocus is not really fast. Um, the materials are the same. It's just the design um, is different. So yeah, so the just the design that makes it different. But for the material and the fills, they're the same. Um, so yeah, for the 2014-2015, same materials like the 2000, the previous season, as you can see here, there, it's hollow, so the, that's the inside, on the front here. there and same uh, same ventilation on the side although this is more like they have the like arrow down arrow shape and it's getting like it's getting lesser and lesser as you go down here you have like how many one two three four you have five lines here and then four lines here and then it's getting lesser as you go to the um, to the bottom of the shirt and yeah same materials as the previous season um, okay so for the labeling um, 2014-2015 jersey is different than the previous seasons as you can see here 2014-2015 uh, jersey is um, the authentic and the replica versions have the same uh, have the same uh, design of the labels on the bottom of the shirts uh, oh, come on. there but the authentic version will have a gold will have a gold background uh, instead of silver for in the, on the replica version on the previous seasons this is the this is the 2013-2014 jersey it's just a plain labeling same as uh, the 2011-2012 jersey there all right uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is the dry fit is the dry fit logo here the 2014-2015 jersey uh, is stitched in while the other the the other jerseys are like stickers as you can see here Again, probably made it. Probably Nike made it to um, make the jersey as light as possible. All right. So on this jersey, I didn't. Uh, I didn't customize for the LFP patch and the 
and uh, I believe on that season they have the TV3 um, patch on the left side. Uh, yeah, same same as the 2013 and 14 jersey. All right, so the other thing that I want to talk about is there is this thing that was uh, on any Nike authentic jersey. They just call it a T-bar. So what this does is the jersey Nike said only made made by one material something to do with recycling the bottle or something so because the material is so light and they use a very very minimal stitching they need to put this t-bar to stitch the whole jersey to yeah to make the whole jersey uh, come together so it won't yeah so this another t-bar here All right, so on the 2013-2014 jersey, they still use the T-bar here. There you go. On the both sides, of course, but on the on the 2014-2015 jersey, they stopped using that. I don't know. Probably they, probably Nike, by probably Nike just um, has figured out how to how to stitch this jersey, this light jersey, without uh, using the 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 T bar. All right. So there you go, guys. So this uh, my comparison video. All right. It's a bit messy now. So I hope uh, that. Uh, you get the idea of the of how authentic jerseys has evolved throughout the years, especially for Nike. And yeah, but I'm I'm glad that Nike has made it uh, made the authentic version available to the public uh, lately. Uh, so it just gave us more options on you know some of us like. The replica version better. Some of us wants the authentic version, who is very very similar to the player issue jersey, the one that the players uh, wear on the during the match. So yeah, it's a good move for Nike, um, I should say. Alright, so I I hope you guys like this video, and click like if you like it, and subscribe for more upcoming videos that are related to Barcelona. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next video.